I had to. I had to try it. Coca-Cola and coffee. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> gross. I wanted to try it for you guys so you didn't have to. Well, what's the verdict? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love vanilla Coke. So I thought vanilla Coke <laughs> and coffee might be okay, but it's weird. Ugh. No. Definitely That's no. That's awful. That's not good. That's so bad. Let's keep that our was... coffee and our Coke separate. How about that? Ugh. <laughs> All right, welcome to our channel. I'm Wolf. And I'm Ashton, and we are going to do a grocery haul for you guys today. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Coca-Cola. For a digital hunt, one of the finals, Texas decathlete, and she knew how to weigh when she crossed the line. She, from her neighborhood, friends and family, mom and dad, so the way she was to So if you watched our last What I Eat In A Day video or the last grocery haul video, mm -hmm. you'll know that we kind of follow a particular eating style, I would say. I don't want to call it diet. Everyone hates the word diet. Our eating style is lower carb in the morning. I would say lower than a lot of athletes. So, some athletes we know, though, go no carb, and they try to get real skinny and real fit, and energy-wise, we couldn't do that. We tried it, and we look good, but it's not sustainable. Yeah. So we go lower carbs in the morning, and then we tend to backload our carbs after training and replenish the glycogen in our muscles. So the next day, we already have that energy system primed and ready to go. That way, we keep our insulin levels really low, so it's kind of telling our bodies to learn to burn fat more than it is blood sugar. And that's the whole concept behind what we do. We try to keep our muscles full of glycogen by eating more carbs later in the day, so we're primed for the next day, but our insulin levels low early in the day so we can be burning fat. Yeah. That's a little mouthful, I know. <laughs> but that's kind of the idea behind MCT oil in the morning, protein in the morning, get the metabolism going, but don't spike insulin quite yet. Right. Well, yeah, and it's not just to look good or to get the fat off, it's to actually feel good too. Like sometimes if you're pumping right. yourselves full of blood sugar, your body doesn't really know how to use the fat. You feel the difference. You actually have more energy yeah. if you can keep your insulin levels low and learn how to teach your body to burn fat. Yeah. <sighs> it is a lot. It's, there's a lot about food. Oh. Uh, getting a call. It's mom. I have to pick it up. All right, it's mom. Okay, time out. <laughs> Back out. Oh, hello, sunshine. <laughs> hello there. Okay, so we're going to start with the fruits and vegetables since, you know, it looks beautiful. Um, first off, we're gonna go to the oranges. I'm planning on making fresh orange juice later this week. Ooh. I've been dying to make some, so just bought a bag of it. Let's see how that goes. Sounds good. Um, bananas. We love having bananas and peanut butter as a snack when we get back from a long day of training and working out. Uh, also some plums and mangoes. So like this is dessert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is our nighttime dessert snack. Yeah, it's like if after dinner, two or three hours go by and we're still hungry. Throw some peanut butter on a banana, open up a mango, take a bite out of a juicy plum. Really good stuff. Um, move on to the heartier vegetables. We got onions, love to cook with all the time. Throw them in omelets, throw them in our dinners. Uh, we got some potatoes, yellow and red, because you know we like variety. Also cook potatoes almost every night for dinner. So those are a must have. Moving on to the carrots. Now these look disgusting. The carrots. The carrots. We found the ugliest carrots we could. <laughs> Pick them out really, and we know that they're honest. Still got some sand on them. Yeah, you wanna know why? Because we get the organic, Cal organic. Uh, maybe That's they're right. from California, I'm not, not sure. Not those spray painted Sp giants that you see. Hormonal giants. Those hormonal freaks. We don't want any of that in our food. We did get some ginormous but celery. Yes. Good grief. I didn't pick that up. Wolf, Wolf got that. No, they didn't have any other options. Yeah. Um, Would have got the ugly stuff. They yeah, maybe it. we eat this as a snack too with some ranch and whatever else Wolf wants to use with it. Oh, he's wanting to cook his beef braised um, thing. So I've become quite the chef actually. I've watched a lot of Gordon Ramsay on Amazon Prime. I'm going to do like a celery, carrot, beef, red wine, and just kind of let it stew. We're actually going to do a what I eat in a day tomorrow, or the next day. Um, and I'll show you that recipe, and it's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. Yeah, but we will show you dinner tonight on this vlog, so stay tuned. 
Ooh. Moving on. Obviously your salads. We got organic baby spinach and arugula. Love this to have for lunch. I make like a grilled chicken, throw it on top of the spinach greens, put some baby tomatoes in there with some avocados. Delicious. You have that all the time. All the time, yeah. English peas, yeah. We'll have these for lunch or dessert. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> dessert. Ew. Ashton, what's, what's for dessert? What's bees for dessert? Peas. No, okay. I meant uh, lunch or, or dinner. Uh, sweet kale. Yes, love getting a Josie's organic sweet kale chopped salad kit because I love the cranberries and just this salad in general. I don't know. Can't speak to how healthy these are, but they taste yeah. good. These are good. These are just like real quick if I don't want to throw something together. Yeah. You just open the bag and let, let it loose. Um, let it fall where let it, it fall. Where it may. <laughs> yes. And I also, this is like the only eggs I ever buy because they're pasture raised. No hormones, no antibiotics, and they are beautifully brown. But because. Ashton, Ashton only eats brown eggs. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's not true. Will you eat a white I get, egg? I get pasture raised. I eat white eggs, yeah. So I grew up on 11 acres of land with my family, and we had chickens growing up. And I loved locking up the chickens at night, opening up so you just run free, half of the worms and stuff in the ground. But I'd always get the eggs, so they'd be brown or white. And I never knew why they were different colors, but I recently learned that brown chickens make brown eggs. Would you look at that? So. Accurate. This yes. Is, this is an accurate representation <laughs> here. So Wolf was saying that maybe that the brown chickens are hardier. They last outside maybe longer. Well, because whenever sure. you get pasture-raised eggs, they're always brown. So I'm thinking maybe that brown eggs are just more hardy. Yeah. Tougher. Yeah. I'm going to have to agree with him on that because we always end up having brown chickens longer than the white chickens. Oh, time. yeah. Na natural selection. Snake. But love chickens. Snake. We want some someday. Um, we got some blueberries and grapes for some fruit as well. And I got some coconut flakes to put with our oatmeal. Ooh. Whenever we make that for uh, track meets, we love to have oatmeal in the morning. And I wanted something like kind of sweet with it. So Ooh, that's I'll a good throw idea. that in there. Now to the very green aisle. We have parsley. What are these? Those are spring about? onions. Spring onions. Another kind of onions. It's a little bit different flavor, but you know, use the green part and, it, oh, it's so good in eggs. Yeah, omelets, omelets and eggs and stuff. Okay, parsley used basically for everything. Everything um, that Gordon Ramsay would put parsley in, we also put parsley in. Delicious, yes. Oh, corn, love making corn. I make like these baby rib corn where you like, you them into fours and you slap some butter and seasonings on them and you throw them in the oven and you cook them for like 30 minutes. They're like ribs, right? They're like ribs, yeah. They're That's really cool. good. And huge thing of broccoli. This I'm gonna is... I'm gonna show you my favorite way to cook broccoli tonight. If you don't like broccoli right now, you're going to. This is like a um a wedding flower. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's so big. Da, here comes da, 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 da. <laughs> the most boring wedding ever. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> okay, moving on. Well, this is your aisle. Oh, Dory's in my way. Excuse me, my, there my love. Yeah. Okay, Wolfie. All right, apparently this is my aisle. But... <laughs> you got the meat, you got the good well, stuff. Let's go over here first with this bonza. We don't get really like normal pasta anymore. We get this bonza stuff, it's made from chickpeas. And it's got like twice the protein in it and it's all slower carbs, more like lower on the glycemic index. Mm -hmm. So we get a bunch of different kinds of those. We also got this red lentil spaghetti looking stuff. So that looks good. We're just gonna try it. Red spaghetti sounds cool looking, so yeah. I wanna see what it looks like. Anyway, to the meat. Got a couple different types of fish. This will be tonight, some sockeye salmon. I'm gonna show you our favorite way, easiest way to cook salmon. That'll be with the broccoli and I'll probably have potatoes with that. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Yeah. Anyway, it's got another kind of fish I've never had before. It was pretty cheap actually. It's called Dover sole. Little white fillets, should be easy to cook. This is chicken breast for like Ashton, mostly for Ashton salads for lunch, right? Yeah. This bad boy, not really familiar with this cut of meat. It's like a part of a brisket, but brisket flat. <laughs> Never heard that before, but I'm gonna braise it and cook it for a long time, real slow, mm -hmm. probably tomorrow in the What I Eat video. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see how it turns out. Yeah. And then Ashton claims that this is the best bacon that, on earth. That is the best bacon. I mean, look how thick that bacon is, at least from H-E-B. Better than good is what it says, and I believe it. All right, and then over here, bulletproof collagen protein every single morning in our coffee. Every morning. It goes in, mixes in really well, and it has a little bit of MCT oil in it because we like that in the morning too. Yeah, we're just trying to keep everything healthy. Mm -hmm. And collagen helps a lot with that, even more so than like protein in terms of healing and repairing damaged tissues or 
tendons, etc., etc. If you're watching this and you don't know, we're trying to be Olympians, so we need to give ourselves every chance we can get. All right, cheeses, mozzarella. Oh, another kind of mozzarella, fancy mozzarella. That stuff's delicious. <laughs> And then I put Parmesan pretty much in all my pasta dishes I make. Mm -hmm. And we got milk for me. Mm -hmm. I still like milk. I know everybody's like hating on milk lately, but still an old country boy likes a glass of milk sometimes. <laughs> and Ashton is a soy boy. Or no, wait. What soy boy? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this? Oat girl. She's an oat girl. <laughs> I do like oat milk. It tastes good. Uh -huh. I actually like it better than soy milk. Red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar for cooking. Got some unsweet Texas style tea just for when I'm tired of drinking so much water. Mm -hmm. All we drink is water. Mm -hmm. All the fruit. Time, water yeah. this, water that. Mm -hmm. And I shouldn't have got this probably, but I did because it looked really good. <laughs> you shouldn't have got it. Why shouldn't you have got it? Well, well let's I don't be honest. Know. It's eight bucks for a pizza, but I guess mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Yeah. I should have got this. I'm glad I got this. Yeah, okay. For when we don't want to cook, you know, yeah. like all these stuff you don't really eat raw. You got to make it taste good. This you can just pop in, which is kind of rare for us. <laughs> and then Ashton picked out some seafood salad and some chicken salad. Yeah, for lunch, you know, when we come home hungry. Or a good snack, yeah. Yeah, good snack. Good snack, tastes good, has a little protein. Eat it with what? Cracker or you just eat it Crackers. straight up? Yeah, I just eat it straight up. I'd probably throw it in some bread. And last but not least, the Izzy is in the back. Oh yeah. Got these Izzy's for me because I hate sparkling anything and I'm tired of drinking water as well. But I did like Izzy's. For when we don't feel like being completely boring. Um, I wouldn't say it's like super low carb. I would say it's like slower carb though, right? Yes. So like we're not afraid of carbs. Yeah. I don't think anybody should really be afraid of carbs. It sucks. Like carbs are so cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, and everything else, protein, even fat can be more expensive. We try to stay away from the cheap processed carbs and we try to get the good stuff when we do eat them. If there's one thing that we're okay with spending money on right now, it's food. Because that's like the most important thing to us in staying healthy, having mm -hmm. energy. Food is all positive for us. Like that whole Bulletproof brand got us on the idea of also eating towards anti-inflammation, mm -hmm. fighting inflammation with the foods you eat. Yeah, so there is a reason we eat certain foods and don't eat certain foods. So that's what we follow. So these things. We're um we're gonna go work out now. Thanks, yeah. We have weights. We will get back to you for dinner. Yes, we're gonna show you a Mahler meal. It's gonna be delicious. It's Especially. one of my favorite meals that he makes. It's amazing. So stay tuned. Yeah. We'll it's, see you. It's really good to impress your your spouse with. She really she really likes this meal. I really like this. <laughs> okay. Anyways. We're gonna come back to you sweaty and hungry, so we'll see you in a bit. And we're back from lifting weights. <laughs> we had a nice, easy lift since we just got done with the track meet yesterday. Very hungry now. Very hungry now, so we're excited to make dinner. Ready for food. Ready right for here food. is everything you're gonna need for tonight's meal. Yes, let's, let's get to it. And we're back with some potato wedges. Well, they're gonna be. I'm gonna make potato wedges. <laughs> First ingredient, potatoes. Then you have some olive oil with some lemon pepper and garlic powder. Now just give them a little rinse, just like that. Okay, all right, so let's cut these. So once we have cut the potatoes up, we're gonna pour it into some boiling water. Probably gonna burn myself, because it's popping. Oh, lost one. <laughs> I'll find it. <laughs> My oh, <laughs> wow! Yeah, it's okay. boiling water. Go ahead, finish, finish oh, that, and then I'll okay, okay. save that. Straggler. <laughs> I put salt in this water as well. Give it a nice little salty taste. Okay, I'm gonna boil this for probably 10 to 15 minutes so they're soft on the outside and I'll take it back out. But Wolf is gonna show you his broccoli next. All right, broccoli. Boring, right? Wrong. It's good. We're gonna spice it up and you're gonna love it. First thing we're gonna do, wash it. <laughs> a little here, a little there. Shake it off. All right, you're gonna wanna get these ends off in one fluid motion. Then you're gonna pick apart all the stems. All these look pretty good. I'm gonna toss these in the bowl. I'm gonna keep going with this here. I'm gonna start at the stock. A lot of people just throw this part away. I like it a lot. The way we're cooking it, these are gonna end up like little chips. So you're gonna cut them um, probably that thin, quarter an inch, something like that. When you get to these, keep them. We like them. They're gonna taste good. They're gonna get real soft anyways. All these things are just gonna have flavor. We're not leaving anything behind on this broccoli. Throw this in there. So now we've got our broccoli all chopped up. 
we're gonna add sesame oil, about like that. Soy sauce. So depending on how salty you want it is how much soy sauce you're gonna put. I can't give you an exact amount. You're just gonna have to feel it out. That looks about right. And then this is gonna be red wine vinegar. This is the sour, however sour you like your stuff. And then you got your spice here with the sriracha. That's probably good. And then you just toss. It's a great sound. Now we're just going to spread it out as evenly as we can. Roll it around, make sure everything is nice and coated. Honestly, this looks like it's not going to be enough oil because the oil and the vinegar and the soy sauce, it all evaporates really quickly. So I want to have a little bit left over at the bottom. It's like a really nice sauce. So I'm going to go back over it with a little bit of sesame oil. A little soy sauce. Vinegar. And then we're gonna just lightly put some drops of sriracha. Cool. Wave that around again. That looks better. I forgot one ingredient to show you guys. It's sriracha roasted sesame seeds. Really good, just sprinkled on top. And it looks good. Preheat the oven to 415 and then pop that in for about 15 minutes. Wow, 415's hot. I'm gonna start my timer so you know exactly how long they cooked. Okay, these are actually done. They boiled for 15 minutes, so we're gonna take them out and drain them. <laughs> so I pressed record when I did not mean to press record and we didn't get her seasoning the potatoes, so. That's okay, guys. We showed you what the seasonings we put in the potatoes were. For what you know, I just did a nice little coat. One more. <laughs> Doing one more coat just for you guys, just so you could see. Very generous. And then I gave it a nice little shake. And when I do that, you see how the potato gets rough on the edges? That will create a skin that'll be nice and crunchy whenever you bake it. I'm excited. We're gonna put some oil in the pan. That's a lot of oil. Wow, that was a lot of oil. Dang. <laughs> Throw these guys in there. Spread them out so they can kind of cook on all edges. Wow, it smells so good. And then pop them in the oven. Going in with the veggies. Sockeye salmon. Two ingredients, butter and miso. If you've never used miso, it's really good. You should try it. You're gonna have to go to probably an Asian food store to get it. This is the only one that I could find that actually said something that I could read. Awesome miso. The other one I have. Oh my gosh. You can't read anything. Huge difference. Yeah. So it's just a fermented soybean paste. It's delicious, guys. This is, like I said, my favorite meal that he makes. And I'm so excited for tonight because I'm starving right now. All right, so you're gonna get about a half a stick of butter. About four tablespoons. All right, so this is a fresh miso. I wasn't a big fan of the other miso that we got, so I got this other one. We're gonna put about, probably about, would you, how many, would you say this was? Four? That was four tablespoons. Four tablespoons? We're probably gonna put four tablespoons of miso as well. About like that. So about equal parts butter and miso, maybe a little more miso. But then you're gonna chop the butter up, something about like that. And then real quickly, you're gonna pop this in the microwave. For about how long? 10, 10 to 20 seconds. All right, you just want a little butter at the bottom. You don't wanna completely melt the butter because you wanna make a nice like paste. And it needs to be a certain consistency. Probably need a bigger bowl for this. That's my bad. <laughs> You I can't mix this. Oh, there he goes. All right, we're good somewhere. Okay, that looks about right. That looks amazing. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the pan before I put the salmon on so that we cook the skin in it. All right, good enough there. Lay it on like that. Wow. So this is actually, uh, you know you get some fillets of salmon that are really thick, and so you put on a thicker layer of miso. This is a pretty thin piece of salmon, so I'm not gonna put a super thick layer. I guess sockeye salmon's a smaller fish. I don't know, but seems like it is. And then we just spread it over the fish. Does 
doesn't really have to be too perfect. That butter will melt and it will spread everywhere. That looks amazing. It's actually good to, to have all these little like peaks and curves because when it cooks it burns like at the tip of it and it looks really nice. That looks good to me. Yeah, let's put that sucker in. Oh, 16 minutes. And the broccoli's done. What? <laughs> Lost track. Oh no. Oh no, we're good. Well, hmm. I'm going to take this out for a minute. I think it's done. I'm going to swap it with the salmon. Put the salmon right on top. Start a new timer there. We can taste test this broccoli. Oh, that looks amazing. See, there's that oil. That stuff's so good. Mm. Oh, good. I think that's about done. Okay. You can see that I took it out just in time as the tips of the broccoli were starting to blacken. So it's a little crunchy. If you want them cooked a little more through, then put it at a lower temperature for a longer time. But I kind of like them still a little bit crunchy, so. Okay, so the salmon's been in for about 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna broil it, and along with the potatoes. Broil, high, start. Okay, it's actually been seven minutes that we broiled it for, so total cook time is like 17 minutes. And yeah, it looks good. Woo! Woohoo! And then we're pulling the potatoes out same time. Oh my gosh. Yes. Beautiful. Wow. Look at that salmon. Alright. Quick prayer and we will eat. Who's first? Me. <laughs> it just never fails. It's just so freaking good. That's right on. Wow. Oh my gosh. You gotta try it. These are probably my favorite. The, the green beans. These are good. Or the green beans, probably. <laughs> <laughs> A special occasion if you want to impress somebody. A little date night at home. A little quarantining. Can this we... is what we had for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Quarantine Valentine's Day. I just, I'm so happy right now. Something so... about miso salmon just makes everything okay for Ashton. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Ashton eats so fast. Well, I didn't have as much as you. I did it! I didn't have as much as him. We have video footage to prove how much you had. Let's so. see. Let's go check it. <laughs> Um, anyways, guys, we hope you liked the meal that we made. It's super easy, simple to make. Guys, should try it. It's really amazing, as you can tell. Favorite meal. But anyways, like we were saying, I hope you enjoyed the food video. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you tried any of these things and let us know how it goes. Hope you liked it. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye.